Good morning, it's day 179. Um, we are just rolling out of camp. We had a little stove spot last night. We only got about 13 miles in last night. Today we are headed to Moxie Bald Mountain. I'm hoping for a longer day today and tomorrow we'll be in Monson. The trail is so nice today. I've missed this. Nice flat ground. Not a ton of rocks or roots. It's beautiful. So nice and easy on my legs. Lots of snakies in Maine. Made it to the top of Moxie Bald Mountain. It was a really nice mellow climb. Just got a little steeper towards the end, but it's pretty nice overall. Got some beautiful views up here. It is a hot day today, but at least we got a nice breeze on the top here. It's going to be a good mile day for us, I think. Um, after this, it's all, we have a downhill down off the mountain, and then it's all flat from there into Monson, pretty much. So, we're excited about that. Good morning, it's day 180. Ah, our summit day is just 13 days away. We are getting so close and so excited. Um, we pushed back our dates. We had plenty of time to enjoy the 100 mile wilderness. So we're excited about that. It should be nice and easy, um, taking our time. Today we are headed into Monson, which is our last town stop before Katahdin. So that is super exciting. Yay! And we are taking our final zero day tomorrow, which we are very excited about. Um, I'm really excited to get out of this heat and humidity right now. It's crazy here in Maine right now. It's like 8.30 and I'm already drenched in sweat. It's pretty gross. Um, just very humid and sticky. Ugh. So we have just about 10 and a half miles to get into Monson today. Should be there by early afternoon. and. We can't wait. See you there. Woo! He's steady us. Here's your mom. Well. <laughs> All right, Finley. What are you eating? A quail egg. All right, let's see. I'm scared. That you just got to swallow the whole thing. Throw it back. Oh, get it. You gotta get it all. I haven't even had half of the one. Okay, Finn, let me get one. Good afternoon, it's day 183. Uh, did not vlog for the last two days. We were busy doing nothing at Shaw's Hiker Hostel. Um, it was lovely. We decided to double zero because we were a little bit ahead of schedule because we moved back our summit date. So we actually ended up with some extra time 
and you know Finley was having a blast playing with their little girl and little boy and the neighbor kids so we just had a blast um, finally decided to head out today around 2 30 well it was probably three ish by the time we got to trail <laughs> we almost got sucked into another zero because we just loved it so much there but wanted to get started uh, we still have plenty of time to get to Katahdin by our summit date um, we're just hoping for good weather that day so we don't have to make other plans um, we have just entered the 100 mile wilderness so we're super excited we have um, about five days worth of food in my pack right now and we are doing a food drop um, about 60 miles in at Joe Mary Road um, thanks to Shaws for setting that up for us uh, I made it really easy and uh, just a lot less stressful that I don't have to carry you know 10 days of food all at once because I'd be pretty miserable and heavy so my pack is actually lighter than normal even with five days of food because uh, Finley and I went through our packs and sent home a bunch of stuff that we were not using. Um, sent it home at the post office and lightened us up quite a bit. Um, she lost a pound or two. Well, not Finley, but her pack. Um, so her pack's around nine pounds right now. Um, even with all those snacks in there that I got. And mine was down to 32. That was without water. Um, but still pretty happy with that for five days of food for two people so um yeah feeling really great everything feels good and whoops and we are ready to make it to mama k i'll see you soon hi guys it's day 184 and uh it's a bit of a foggy day and we're planning on doing 2.7 miles and the 12.7 I mean and um, not 2.7 12.7 and um, mom took a really hard stumble and hit her head and her hand and uh, so almost fell off a waterfall almost <laughs> fell off a waterfall and so she's having a bit of a rough day but we'll try to make it better so yeah It's day 185. Last night we camped on top of Barren Mountain. Um, we are a little shy of 12 miles. And uh, today we are trying to get to this pond. But we will see how many we will do. And, um, and last the night... Back. Oh, we're starting the chair backs. Woo! <laughs> and... Um, Last night, we, um, it was crazy winds on top of Barren Mountain, um, so, uh, yeah. See you at camp. Look at this trail, guys. Nice and smooth. We've had a wonderful day. The chairbacks were not hard at all. Um, people said they were really hard, so I was kind of worried about them, but really they're just pretty short ups and downs. Um, the terrain has been really awesome. We had like maybe a couple little rock scrambles, but not really, just kind of rock steps up. Um, otherwise it's been like this. And uh, so, 
Of course I would fall like three times today since it's super easy trail. <laughs> so my knees are kind of banged up today. Um, yeah, I've taken a couple falls here lately. I think my legs are starting to give out on me. Well, but we have, we have about a, like 91 miles to put on. I think so. we're, no, we're less Ooh. than that. I think we're under 90 miles left. Woo! So it's hot in. Um, and we have about three miles left, a little over three, to get to our campsite for the night, which is at um, East Chairback Pond, I think. Um, it's about 0.2 off trail, kind of steep down, but uh, we're really wanting to camp by a pond. And we're going to try to get to the water and rinse out some and swim. clothes, maybe dip in a little bit, try to get cleaned up. We're trying to stay nice and fresh out in the 100-mile wilderness because we have quite a long stretch. We, again, push back our date summit date so we're kind of just chilling out here for nine ish ten ish days so we're gonna be nice and stinky at the end mm -hmm. so we're gonna try to stay as fresh as possible in the meantime <laughs>